Fulton County making plans for a new public safety training center, but this is an Atlantis controversial, uh, controversial facility that critics have deemed Cop City. Fox News Kim Leffler is at the live desk tonight. Kim, the, the conversation about the one that's already under construction has been such a contentious discussion. Why the need for another facility? Well, the Atlanta Police Foundation did ask Fulton County leaders to join Atlanta's Public Safety Training Center in DeKalb County, but financially they say it makes more sense to build their own. They say this plan has been in the works long before Atlanta's facility was announced. Since 2005, the Fulton County Police Department, Sheriff's Office, and more than a dozen other local and federal agencies have used this Wolf Creek shooting complex for police training, originally built as a shooting range for the 1996 Olympics. But county leaders say it's in need of repairs. That building wasn't designed to last for 40 or 50 years. It was really purpose-built just for the Olympics. What has happened over the last five or ten years is roof leaks, air conditioning units that are reaching end of life. Chief Yates says the city of South Fulton also wants to take control of the current training center building, so Fulton County needs a new permanent facility. The state requires police officers to go through 20 hours of annual in-service every year. Our department requires 40 hours of annual in-service. The center offers a variety of courses like crisis intervention and first responder and firearms training. County leaders say the decision not to join the controversial Atlanta Public Safety Training Center comes down to cost. We were approached by Mr. Wilkerson and the Atlanta Police Foundation about joining them. We were already in the process of redeveloping our own and the price tag that he quoted at that time, about $4 million a year. Pitt says they're planning to renovate several buildings along Fulton Industrial Boulevard, funded through a pre-existing county bond. Well, we issued bonds for it for the Animal Services Center and some of that, the excess, will be used for this facility. for the Over the life of it, probably between the neighborhood of 12, 13, 14 million dollars. We're not trying to, to reinvent the wheel. We're, we're trying to continue the training that we've been offering for more than 30 years to our police staff. The new Fulton County facility will be much smaller than the one in DeKalb County. It's expected to be completed next year. At the live desk, Kim Luffler. Fox 5 News. Yeah, Kim, thanks so much for breaking down those details. So as for Atlanta's public safety training facility, construction continues despite repeated pushback from residents. The critics have called it Cop City. They're hoping to put the issue to a referendum vote in November. The Atlanta City Clerk has to approve their signature petition before the next step can happen. Opponents say the clerk's office stonewalled them, refusing to say whether it will be approved before going home for the weekend. Two Tennessee